Cybertron Weekly is your central hub for everything Transformers. Hello YouTube, Ultra Maximus back with another Transformers review. Today we're taking a look at another Rescue Bots figure and it's from the Rescan line. It's Rescue Bot Heat Wave. Now if you don't know what the Rescan line is, the Rescue Bots have a line where they scan some new alternate modes. So basically they can sell more toys, right? <laughs> Heat Wave went from a fire truck to a boat. Optimus Prime took on an off-road truck. Then we've got Blades goes from a helicopter to a jet. And I'm not sure what the other ones uh, switch out into, but yeah, kind of interesting. Now I got a set of these rescue bots loose in a big lot that I got a while back, so it doesn't have any weapons or anything, but it's definitely kind of interesting. The detail on the speedboat is pretty cool. This is for some reason, I like this. I don't know why. I like the design of the boat, and I wouldn't mind a kind of a deluxe version of this with more detail in it, uh, to be honest about it. It looks like a racing boat, uh, which is very, very cool. A Cat Series boat or something. A lot of really nice detail. Um, no wheels, obviously. It is a boat. Um, some nice paint apps to it, and it is a police boat or a rescue boat, I guess. Emergency boat. Uh, looking at the detail on it. It's got an embossed Autobot logo, which is cool. We got the windshield up here. It's got little water cannons, which is pretty cool. And these do move, which is pretty cool. And I keep moving his arm there, stop it. Um, he's got these little uh, lights up here. And then on the back, this is kind of cool. It's got the turbines, uh, the motors built in, which is very, very neat. Um, this side has an Autobot logo embossed, but it's not painted. And then this side has the same Autobot logo, and then it's got some paint apps, uh, which really, really pop out. I think that looks pretty darn cool. So overall, not a bad little boat. For comparison, here we have the Rescan Heatwave next to the Drift Warrior Class figure from Transformers Robots in Disguise 2015. and. I picked this because they're kind of a similar shape. They're both very racy. Um, they're about the same size, to be honest. Uh, this is obviously a lot more complex transformer than this one is, but uh, as far as uh, the amount of plastic, looks like it's about the same, which really isn't too bad for a little kid's toy like that. Again, i really like to see this as a deluxe or warrior class figure. Transformation on this figure is extremely simple. You're going to pick the bot up, kind of hold him like this. You're going to grab the middle of the boat, pull it backwards to reveal the bot underneath, and there we go. Uh, not much going on there. Again, much like the Blades figure, um, if you've seen that review, there is no articulation on this. It's pretty much that's where it is. Um, very, very simple. What I did like, they put the uh, water cannons on his front arms. That's kind of cool. And overall, I mean, it looks pretty decent. It's definitely got Heat Wave's head with his little um, fireman's hat. Uh, very cool. Definitely digging that. His little blue windshield, the silver paint apps. Again, I like the water cannons on his forearms. I think it's pretty cool. Little silver feet overall, not a bad looking bot. For comparison, here we have Heat Wave next to a Chug Ironhide. Why? Because I guess they're both red. I don't know. This was the first figure that I picked up to compare. Um, yeah, I mean, not too terribly bad of a little kid's toy as far as size goes. Um, it's a little bit smaller than the Chug here. Now, its biggest drawback is it has no articulation to it, but again, this was designed for little kids, so you can't fault it for it, really. Now to transform Heatwave back into his speedboat mode, you're going to pick the figure up, you're going to push the arms in like that, and it's going to close everything up just like that. It's for you, Ron. Um, definitely kind of fun. Uh, I like the look of the boat. I don't know why, but I really, really do. Is it just me, or could we retool this into a hot rod figure, huh? Hmm, hmm, that wouldn't be bad. I don't know, maybe it would. 
So is the Rescan Rescue Box Heat Wave a figure that you want in your Transformers collection? Well, as usual, if you are a Rescue Bots fan and you're a completist, you're probably going to want this because, you know, it is his alternate mode from a fire truck into a speed rescue boat. And uh, I, I like it. I do. I don't know why. I just really like that boat mode. I've said that a thousand times, but it is true. Something about it really appeals to me. I think kids are going to like it. Um, I think it'd be a fun figure to play with. There's probably a lot of them that are getting rusty screws from being in the tub. Uh, it will not float, by the way. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, overall, it's not a bad figure. Its biggest drawback is the lack of articulation, which uh, pretty much is almost all of these rescue bots uh, biggest uh, limitation i think the only one that really has any is the optimus primal uh figure the big one with the lights and sounds but other than that these guys are what they are a little kid's toy it's durable enough i think kids will have fun with it it won't break i think this retails anywhere from 10 to 15 dollars depending on where you buy them and that's about it. There he is, the Heatwave Rescanned Rescue Bot. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share. And as always, look for more videos in the future.